the places we live are so many Mount Carmels, and we consecrate them with a very fervent, a very lively, and a very active desire for holiness. This quotation comes from Blessed John of St. Samson, French mystic, uh, 1500s. It tells us about every place being Mount Carmel. Now those first Carmelites who lived their life of prayer on Mount Carmel, they came from all over the place, from England, from France, from Italy, from Spain, from Constantinople, from Palestine, from Egypt. And they were forced to live together because the Saracens had conquered almost all the Holy Land, leaving only the area around Mount Carmel still in Christian hands. And so they probably had each group that came there had a different time for liturgy, different saints they wanted to celebrate, different customs, different calendar. So they all went to the Patriarch of Jerusalem, Albert, and asked him to write them a rule so that they could all live together. And the very first thing he told them to do in the rule is build a chapel in the center of the cell. Now this is probably where it gets interesting, because what name would they give that chapel? Did the Eastern Hermits want the name of an Eastern Saint? Did the Western Hermits want the name of a Western Saint? Did the Crusaders want the name of a warrior saint? The only name they pro probably could all agree upon was Our Lady of the Place. Eventually, the Saracens conquered even the land around Mount Carmel, and those first Carmelites had to go to Europe. Wherever they moved though, they made that spot into a new Mount Carmel. No matter what language was spoken, what customs were there, no one I know uses this title of Mary, Our Lady of the Place, except the Carmelites. And this title of Mary teaches us, Our Lady of the Place teaches us, that we should live in harmony, in peace, in unity with all people. 